So on the internet router, we can do some additional tests if we want to. We can ping the loopback of router one, router two, router three, and ourselves. Notice we have a gateway of last resort. We have a default route pointing to the internet. So we should be able to ping 8.8.8.8, which is the DNS server. We should be able to ping cisco.com. Notice that's resolved and the ping succeeds. And we should be able to ping facebook.com. So the internet router has received an IP address through DHCP. It's also learnt a default route, as we can see here. It has a gateway of last resort, and it's been told via DHCP which DNS server to use, which is this server here. Notice the DNS records for Cisco and Facebook. And here's the DHCP server telling devices the default gateway, DNS server, and we have an address pool configured. So that router can get to the internet, but a router such as router one won't be able to get to the internet because this router only knows about the internal networks. So it knows about network one and network 10. It doesn't have a gateway of last resort set. It doesn't have a default route. So it won't be able to ping the DNS server as an example, because it doesn't know where network eight is. We have to advertise a default route to the router, and we're gonna do that on the internet router. So router rip, we use this command, default information originate, to advertise a default route through rip. So notice previously there was no default route, no gateway of last resort set, Show IP route now, however, shows us that a gateway of last resort is configured and we have a default route learnt via RIP. Notice it's a candidate default route learnt via RIP. Our gateway is the internet router. So internet router once again, show IP interface brief, has this IP address configured on the serial link to router one. So router one should be able to ping the DNS server, which it can, and it should be able to ping cisco.com, but we have to configure a name server for that. So let's configure the name server and see if we can ping cisco.com. Yes, we can. Can we ping facebook.com? Yes, we can. Now, another reason why this works is that uh, the internet router is configured for NAT. So it has NAT pre-configured in the lab so that internal devices are NATed when going to the internet. We are NATing all devices from the internal network onto the internet and hence router one is able to ping cisco.com and facebook.com because it has a default route pointing to the internet router and the internet router is running NAT. We should see something very similar on router two. Router two, show IP route. Notice a gateway of last resort is configured. We've learnt a default route. So we should be able to ping cisco.com. But again, we need to specify the name server. So we need to tell the router which DNS server to use. And now we can ping cisco.com and we can ping facebook.com. So that works. By adding one command to the internet router, other routers in the network have learnt how to get to the internet. So IP name server on router three will be the DNS server, ping facebook.com, ping cisco.com. That works. This router once again learnt about the DNS server through DHCP. These routers don't know which DNS server to use. You have to tell them to use this DNS server. So we've now advertised a default route.
to other routers in the network. These routers can now access the internet. In task two, we need to create DHCP pools to allocate IP addresses to devices in the topology.